dad on a dinosaur. No, honey, that's not what it says. It says she is for cat. Good. With whiskers so long. And D is for dinosaur. Good. Big, green, and strong. Good job. So I had gotten this Henry Matisse drawing with scissors book, and I wanted to do one of these projects. Sorry for the kids screaming in the background. They're getting ready for a homeschool co-op. But um, I wanted to do one of these drawing with scissors projects, but guess what, guys? I can't find my scissors, my kid scissors. So I'm going to have to change my plans. Okay, we're taking our library books back to Go ahead. Go to the car and we're off to co-op. What you reading, bud? Let me see the front. I can't see it. Redwoods. Okay, so I grabbed these books from the library the other day. And looking for a moose, forest explorer, the little tree, daylight and starlight, the great Au, redwoods, and a whiff of pine and a hint. So my plants got all bothered today, and that's all right. But we got back from co-op, and um, I don't even know what we got into, really. This <laughs> Some days it's just like this. It's really, really rainy and dark outside. But um, we are going to try to make something work. I actually did find some scissors for us to do the um, Henry Matisse, the drawing with scissors, but um, I returned the book. <laughs> I had a stack of library books that I needed to return and I returned that book. So um, I'm trying to debate whether or not I want to go ahead and look up some information online and just continue on with the drawing with scissors or if I just want us to kind of like get into whatever we can get into right now. Yeah, so I just went ahead and got the computer out and I might as well just forge ahead. It's not exactly gonna be what I wanted it to be, but at least we can do a little bit of learning about it. So where I found this activity was on playfullearning.net. I love this website. They have a lot of really wonderful ideas. And this was the Art for Kids Fun with Matisse. So we were going to do the drawing with scissors. I was actually going to read that book to them. But like I said, I took it back to the library. So anyway, I thought we could find something here and then go ahead and do this project anyway. Good job, yes. buddy.
we have redeemed ourselves. We don't have a Henry Matisse um, drawing with scissors book. But I did find a few YouTube videos that fit just fine into our lesson. So we've been able to just keep moving on. So Cameron's doing a great job. And he is working on his drawing with scissors project. I always think that I'm going to do a good job teaching the lesson to both of the boys while Savannah hangs out, but for some reason, it always ends up being this guy and this girl. And then Kenzel, on the other hand, normally needs something different to do. So I think he's teaching me something about him. So I just um, moved him on over here. And he is working on some time for learning. Sometimes he likes to be included in the projects, but a lot of times he just wants to do something like that. So I'm learning how to just let him do it. And I think that how it's normally working is Cameron learns a certain, Cameron learns certain um, art techniques or whatever else. And then when he's doing it, Kendall jumps in. So I'm trying to let go of that idea that I have to be teaching them the same thing at the same time and I just kind of let Kendall do his own thing and that he can just jump in when um, when the time is right I guess so that's what we're gonna do we're gonna finish that up and then we're gonna call it a day for school we might do some reading but we're basically just gonna get into like some chores and getting dinner done and ready for daddy to get home and that is what and that is what we basically did today we hope you're having a wonderful day at your school today something like that what do you think but look two. Oh, that's so cool i didn't Pam. know i can make two out of them. yeah that's so cool so we're gonna finish up our project i'm gonna go level my boo and i'm gonna um do some cutouts too i'm thinking it would be a really really cool idea if we just go ahead and um make some large cutouts so that we can cover the wall because remember that part that showed how he liked to cover the wall in the museum with the cutouts so it might be a really cool idea if we do some large cutouts and then cover our chalkboard wall so we may do that and i'm gonna make some books yeah so we'll see where it leads us thanks for joining us today learning about henry matisse Henri Matisse. How do you say it, Cam? Henri Matisse. <laughs> say it again, bud. Henri Matisse. Henri Matisse. <laughs> See you later, guys.